What is up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we have the final monument of the season. Of course, it's Il Lombardia. Cannot wait for this race. Let's get straight into it. So let's take a quick look at the favourites for the race. Uh, we have Shackman, Bookman, Micah and Formlo with Conrad and Mulberger for Bora, one of the strongest teams in the race. Uh, we also have Gilbert for Quickstep, Roglic, probably the pre-race favourite for Jumbo Visma. We also have Mike Woods for Education First. Lander and Valverde will lead Movistar. We also have Jakob Fuglsang for Astana, seeing if he can recapture his early season form. Uh, Vincenzo Nibali will lead Bahrain Merida. Adam Yates, one of the favourites for me as well. Racing for Mitchelton Scott, we have Egan Bernal leading Ineos. Uh, Molima and Chicone will lead Trek Segafredo. Maybe Brambria can do something as well. Next, we have UAE with Ulysses, Martin and Rui Costa. David Gaudu, the young Frenchman, will lead FDJ. Uh, now coming to some of the outsiders, we have Benut and Velens, Michael Valgren, Hershey and Keldman for Sunweb. Zacharin's here for Katusha. We also have De La Parte for CCC. Uh, maybe Ede for Cofidis. We have Pierre Latour for Ajitoala Mondial. And Droni will be led by Fausto Masnada. Uh, Israel Cycling Academy may be led by Nathan Earl uh, Plaza as well. We have Sil Gautier for Vital Concept. Uh, Gazprom led by Vlasov. Neri Sotoli will be led by Giovanni Visconti. And then finally, we have Bardiani. So I have decided to go for Groupama FDJ, led by the young Frenchman David Godu, of course. We'll be trying to get a good result with him. However, we also have Valentin Madwa, a very talented young rider as well. Maybe we can try and attack or something from far out with him if he's feeling good. Uh, but we also have Rudy Millard, maybe another card to play. Apart from that though, we have Rue, Frankini, Morabito and Bonnet, who will probably be acting as domestiques. So guys, the race gets underway and you can see Godou on a very nice plus one day. No one else feeling too good, including Valentin Madawa, sadly. Uh, so it looks like we'll be concentrating on David Godou. So it would seem that the early breakaway has now formed up the road. Two and a half minutes up to Sean Bennett. We have Vice, Nathan Earl and Velasco, uh, just four men up the road. So guys, we're on the second climb of the day. Really not too much action to note so far. The gap to the breakaway down to just three and a half minutes. So here we go. The climbing is just beginning. 11 kilometers at an average of 5%, but I think that's including this little downhill as well. So it's pretty steep. Bonnet and Rue in particular are gonna really struggle almost immediately on this climb. Uh, so I think we're gonna try and protect Godou with some of our other guys here. So Bonnet already done just a few kilometers into the climb. I've moved Morabito over to protect David Godou. Let's put everyone else up to like 88 right towards the front because we're being dropped already it seems. So Morabito doing a really good job protecting David Godou in these rainy conditions. Uh, we haven't had any attacks on the off the front just yet, but we have Valverde, Gilbert, Molima all lurking right towards the front. Uh, Madwa, Molima and Franchini all struggling to stay with the pace. Oh, it's a big moment, guys. Three of our riders have fallen. Oh my word, what a shame. Madwa, Mollard and Franchini all fall. Now we just have Morabito left to protect David Godou. What a shame there. So I've stuck Madwa, Mollard and Franchini on automatic. Uh, David Godou trying to stay with the front. It says 96 riders still in the peloton, but Morabito is pretty much done now as we come to this downhill section. Just 53 riders, it says now, in the peloton. Morabito just clinging on. So here we go then, guys. Davide Formlo really powering the peloton along at the front. Bookman now taking over. Um, I guess they're going for Rafa Micah or maybe Maxi Shackman. Uh, we just have 34 riders in the peloton. Very small gap, though, back to these 36 riders behind. I think they'll catch up as we approach the steepest part of the race. Here we go then, guys. With 53k to go, we enter the Colma di Samuano. This will really whittle away the field. I think we'll just have a few riders left at the front after this climb. David Godou looking pretty good to be fair as Morabito dies on him right now just as we start the climb. Very good job by him today. Uh, a shame Madwa, Mollard and Franchini aren't going to be able to do anything to help out David Godou uh, in the remaining part of the race. 
Okay, guys, 39 riders are all that remain at the front of the race. You can see guys dropping away all the time. Mike Woods drops away. Igata, you can see the strength of the riders that are now dropping away. David Godou needs to stay right towards the front here. Watch out for any attacks. Uh, just 27 riders left in the peloton. Kreuzvik now coming towards the front with Landa. Let's sit right on their wheels. Here we go then guys, is Kreuzvik attacking? He's going very, very fast on the front. We now have 2K at 13.8%. This is the hardest part of the race. Just 26 riders in the peloton, I expect. A lot of them are really gonna start struggling now. Jungles and Moscon are still here. And that is a sign for me that we have too many riders in this group. Uh, let's just sit on 85, try and stay with Landa and Comrade. Is Valverde trying to come through? Maybe he is. Moscon and Comrade still here. Uh, Valverde, we're gonna try and follow him if he attacks. He's really putting the pace in. Valverde, you can see how fast he's going. Let's try and stay with him with David Godou. Let's go up to 85. Let's sit right here. Let's sit with Valverde because we're almost done. And you can see guys are dropping away all the time. Let's try and stay right at the front of the race with uh, Alejandro Valverde. And it looks like we're gonna be able to do that pretty well to be fair. Let's pace over the top, keep the pace going. And we have just nine riders left at the front of the race. So 11 riders left at the front. We have Shackman, Comrade, Nibli, Valverde, Godu, Fuglsang, Molima, Pierre Latour, Dan Martin, Primoz Roglic and Adam Yates. Further back, Lando will come back on. I think the same with Moscon, Gilbert, Simon Clark, Bernal and Kelderman. Then a big gap back to Jungles, Izaguirre, Kreuzvik, Haig and Trentin. Um, and then we have Izaguirre, Formolo, Giacone. I don't think these guys are going to come back on. So here we go, guys. We have Comrade pacing on the front. That's because we have two Bora riders in this group. We have two Sky, uh, two Ineos riders with Moscon and Bernal. I think they're the only teams with two riders uh, upon checking. Actually, no, we have Landa and Valverde as well. So that means we don't have to do any work here with David Godou. So guys, we approach the Saviglio. It's been Lander and Conrad pacing on the front. That means Valverde will be Movistar's leader. Let's up the pace now with David Godou. Try and come in with some impetus, expecting some pretty early attacks. The pace so high at the moment, set by Mikhail Lander. We have to go on 90 just to stay here and we're even getting dropped slightly. Let's go down to 85. We've got attacks. Let's follow Balkan Mollema. Nibli attacks. Shackman, Valverde, Mollema and Godou follow. We have Fuglsang and Roglic just behind. And look at this attack by Vincenzo Nibli. Oh my word. Look at the strength from the Italian. Doing his best to drop these guys. We have just nine riders in the front. And there it is. The attack is done by Nibli. Uh, just nine riders here. Let's take position towards the back of the group. Martin, Moscon, Clark, Gilbert and Bernal have been dropped for now. So Balcomolma kicks again. I don't think we've got the strength to follow. Let's just follow uh, Valverde or Roglic for now because uh, Molima has about 20 seconds on this group for the moment. We've got a few guys who've come back on, uh, Gilbert and Moscon. Um, and to be honest, I do want to try and bridge up to Molima but I don't think we have the strength. Can we try it? Can we try it? How long have we got left in the climb? Let's try it. Let's follow. Let's let's attack. Let's try and attack away. Pierre Latour tries to follow. Let's try and at least drop a few guys remaining in this group. Um, and I don't think we've got any more strength to go. Let's try and follow Vincenzo Nibali. Uh, we ha now have just eight riders in this group. Those four riders out the back again. So as we approach the final climb of the day, Molima has 35 seconds on the chasing group behind. You can see the riders right here. We're sat right at the back on Primoz Roglic's wheel. Uh, then we have Adam Yates trying to get back on, Gilbert and Bernal. Simon Clark and Moscon have also gone out the back. So there doesn't seem to be any kind of organized chase here, chasing Balka Molima, his lead. Now 45 seconds, Adam Yates has just latched back on. Um, and I think we need to go right now. We're going to have attacks pretty soon. Let's try and follow Primoz Roglic with David Godou. Dan Martin attacking, trying to bring us back up to Balka Molima. And look at the pace in this group. Roglic is following. Let's actually follow Maxi Schachtman. Uh, try and conserve some red. And there it is. Molima is caught. Let's follow Valverde now. We have 10 riders in this group. More attacks. Let's try and follow Pierre Latour, shall we? Oh my word, look at the number of attacks. Let's try and follow Dan Martin. Hopefully he can cling on to this group. And we seem to be getting dropped slightly with David Godou. Let's try and bridge the gap by ourselves. Can we stay in this group? And yes, we can, just about. We have nine riders in the front. Nibley still trying to attack over the top.
So with 5k to go, Nibali, Roglic and Valverde have about 10 seconds on this group of four. Shackman, Fuglsang, Latour and Godou. Then we have Martin and Molmer 20 seconds behind and they will be the riders competing for the victory today. Leicester try and sit on these guys' wheels. We need to try and conserve some energy for the finish line. So 2k to go for David Godou. Let's up the pace up to 99. Let's try and sprint for it. We need to try and catch these guys. Can we get the jump on them? We're not going to catch them in time, I don't think. Nibali versus Valverde and Valverde I think just takes it ahead of Nibali. Um, Godu will finish sixth place just behind Latour and Shackman. Not a bad result. So Alejandro Valverde wins Il Lombardia just ahead of Nibali and Roglic. So not a bad showing by David Godu today. We were very close to the front three. They did get a tiny, tiny gap. I think it was Fuglsang who, who was dropped by them um, and that led to that gap forming um, and we weren't going to do the chasing. We tried to sprint for it for a top five but just missed out. Sixth position for Godu. So guys that brings to a close the monuments for the season and pretty much closes the cycling season. So I hope you've enjoyed it on my channel this year. Of course though we're going to continue with the Trek Segafredo career modes uh, so you've got that to look forward to starting tomorrow with Tirreno Adriatico. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys, drop a like and a comment down below for me, subscribe to my channel if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one.